barbell front squats. I'm gonna give you three different ways you can do the barbell front squat. And I want you to pick the one that you like the most and what feels the best for you. Option number one is crossing your arms. You want the barbell across the collarbone here. You're gonna put opposite hands across the shoulders. You want the bar right there on top of the shoulder joint. Your elbows up high, brace your core, and then step out. And then from here, you can do your front squat. Personally, I don't like this version because I feel less stable, but some people do enjoy it. So give it a try, find out for yourself. Option number two, Olympic style. Again, still the bar, round collarbone height. On the bar here, about shoulder width apart. Then you're going to get underneath the bar. You're gonna try <laughs> as high as you can with this version as you squat. Personally, I cannot get into a proper position because I lack the wrist mobility and the shoulder mobility to get my elbow up here. I have tight lats, so those who have really tight shoulders, tight wrist, that version might not be for you, but it's something to work up to and mobilize to get to that position. And then option number three, and that's using wrist straps to help you get into option number two. So I'm gonna put these wrist straps on. Now, the idea of the wrist straps is to help you get into the proper position for option number two. So because I lack the wrist mobility and the shoulder mobility to get my elbow oh. the straps will assist there while providing stability, more stability compared to option number one, at least in my opinion, uh, for myself. So I'm gonna grab the straps here, get underneath the bar, put it into that shoulder joint here, across the collarbone, get those elbows up high, lift up, now from here, I can squat. And this feels much more stable than option number one for myself. What you wanna avoid when squatting is letting your back fold forward. If you do that, the weight is gonna fall forward and you're just gonna drop the weight. So it's an easy reminder to keep the upper back and your core engaged with this exercise, which is what makes this squat variation very useful if you want to develop some upper back strength and core strength. There you go, three options for your front squats. Pick the one that you like the most and what feels best.